Hello everyone. This is a quick demonstration of the capabilities of the clean utility that is in IntelliMax layout. The reason for wanting to clean a drawing is that not all CAD systems produce a drawing where everything is optimized. Therefore, it is a good idea to run the clean utility so that the drawing will no longer have problems such as disconnected entities, duplicate entities, or an excessive number of entities. In the drawing that I have on the screen, we can immediately see that there are a lot of endpoints that comprise the features of the drawing. Many of these are unnecessary. And if we take a closer look at the drawing, we can see that there are gaps in the geometry. These gaps can foil the automatic toolpath routine in creating a toolpath from this drawing. In addition, there are entities in the drawing that are duplicated. If I use the selection tool in various areas of the drawing and then go ahead and use the move tool to move what I have selected out of the way, we can see that there are more entities that lay underneath what I have just moved. This isn't good because it can foil the automatic pathing routines that are in layout. I'm going to go ahead and undo what I have just moved and point out one more thing in the drawing. We have disconnected entities throughout the drawing, both inside the toolpath as well as out on the perimeter, and then partially connected entities on the toolpath as well. We don't desire any of these disconnected entities to be part of the final toolpath, so we need to clean those up as well. This is where the IntelliMax Clean utility comes in. Simply click on the Clean button and then select the options which you want to use in cleaning the toolpath and then click the start. You might get a warning that your file is going to be backed up automatically to a, a extra DXF file. Just simply continue anyway and note that we re achieved an immediate result. Here we can see that we have reduced the drawing size by 871 elements and then eliminated a good number of overlapping elements, duplicate entities, removal of gaps, and then finally 15 entities that were part of unclosed paths. Overall, I now have 304 entities in the drawing, and being that I had 871 that were removed, that meant that this drawing once had over 1100 elements. If I zoom in on the gap that I had before, we can see that the gap is now gone. And if I go ahead and move the entities out of the way that I had duplicates of, we can see that those duplicates are no longer there. I'm going to go ahead and undo that change. And then I'm going to go ahead and assign all the entities a quality of cut. And then proceed to making a toolpath automatically. And you can see that the leads and traverses laid in place just nicely without any problems.